I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. Siamese Mahjong is when you play against one opponent and you each have two hands. It's a lot of fun and it's very challenging. The popularity of the game is increasing so much so that there are tournaments that you can attend in order to practice for those tournaments. Sometimes I do an exercise called Siamese Force. I pre-select categories and force hands in those categories because in these tournaments they'll pre-select categories for a prize. Sometimes they even pick a specific hand. It really is amazing what you can force with all those tiles. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to alternate between player one and player two. So we'll get 28 and 27 tiles respectively. We'll start with player one and get 28 tiles. We have a pair of flowers, pair of wests, dragons, white and green. We have one, eight, nine in cracks, pair of nine cracks. We have lots of dots, one, pair of three, pair of four, pung six, single eight, single nine. In bams, we have a one bam, three, four, seven, pair of nines. If these were your tiles, which of these would you force? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play 369 Dragon and like numbers with nines and dragons. This is a lot of discards. Here though, we have no gaps. We have a gap with the nine crack. We need red dragons. I might rethink this. I try to make a plan so that I have eight discards or less. This would use three, six, nine and like numbers. So Maybe what about if we did like numbers with ones and three, six, nine, three, six, nine pairs, Kong Kong. That's a little better. We have Joker Bait. Three, six, nine with Kongs of nines. Like numbers with ones and dragons. Hold the phone. There we have it. So that's joker bait. Much, much better. Three, six, nine pairs, Kongs of nines. Second hand down under three, six, nine. Like numbers with fours, leveraging this multiple. 
and matching dragons. We have the pairs in the dragons and the 369. We wouldn't need this. These are pairs. I would still keep it though. As a matter of fact, I'd probably keep the three just in case. If we get the right tiles, we might even be able to play a pair hand, but that would take us out of the 369 and into singles and pairs. I think 369 with Kongs of nines is stronger. So I think that's what I would focus on. Discard here, hold this for Joker bait. Three, six, nine, and like numbers. That's what I would play. Look at all these jokers. Flower, red dragon, green dragon, white dragon, pair of green. We have pair of wests, and then here we have cracks, singles, one, three, four, five, seven, eight. In bam, or dots, we have six, seven, eight, pair of eights. For bams, we have two, four, five, eight, nine, pair of twos. If these were your tiles, which of these would you force and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would do a year hand and consecutive run five through nine. Year hand with dragons. Down here, five through nine. I would want to leverage this eight. We have seven, eight, seven, eight, eight. If we were to get flowers, I might focus on singles and pairs with consecutive run, but until we have those flowers, cause we still need one up here. This hand is one away from ready or set, one away from set. We need a flower, a white dragon, we can Kong Kong. It'd be a little risky exposing these jokers, but there are no gaps here. We could maybe even do it concealed and use all those jokers and then piecemeal them into this hand by staying concealed. And then down here, maybe play seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight with flowers pair hand. If that doesn't come in, we could do seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine concealed. If we stay concealed, we can use these interchangeably. I would hold all consecutive tiles though, five through nine. Discard these, hold that for joker bait. So this would be year and consecutive run. We need to force odds and singles and pairs. We have one of each of the dragons. We have a fair representation of wins. We're missing east. In cracks, we have two, four, five, pair sixes, eight, nine. We have some flowers. Here we have one, two, four, six, seven, pair of ones, one, five, nine, pair of fives. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on for those categories? 
and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would try news pair hand with consecutive pairs. Maybe one, two, three. Or six, seven, eight. Leveraging these pairs, one or the other. Then I would maybe play multiplication with big odds. I think this is where I would start. News pair hand with either six, seven, eight, or one, two, three. Whichever we don't use, the pair could be joker bait for this other hand. Then here I would force odds five, seven, three, five multiplication, leveraging those flowers. But I think I would keep the dragons, specifically these two, for maybe like numbers with fives if the multiplication hand didn't come in. And I would discard these first. Singles and pairs, and then odds. When you get those drawn tiles, identify the strength of the hand. Use as many tiles as you can and pick a category to leverage those tiles. If you have a lot of discards, reassess. Try to get to eight discards or less for whatever plan you make. And it's okay to have plan B. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.